Hello everyone, this is, um, I'm here today at Chinyaradzo Children's Home with Mrs. Irene Karadzandima. She's in charge of um, this charity, Chinyaradzo Children's Home. You remember in April this year we marched in Edinburgh and raised money for four charities. This is one of the charities and we've come today to present the money we raised and uh, some medication and also from a group on Facebook called Pink Zimbabwe, we've come to present some sanitary products and bras for the girls at this nursing home. So Mrs. Kaya Zandima, what would you like to tell the people in Scotland and in England, everybody who donated money to the charity, what would you like to say to them? Yeah, we feel very honored and very happy. Especially with you know, the try to up upgrade the home. As you know, the home was started in 1962. Now it needs to be upgraded and also the upkeep of the children. And we are very happy that the, outside there, there are people who really think of the disadvantaged children in our community. I just want to say thank you very much. May the Lord bless them in abundance. Thank you. Can you tell us how old are the children at this uh, children's home? Uh, currently, we are having the youngest baby children. We have about four months old. We have been brought here when they are newborn babies being abandoned. And the oldest we have is about 18 plus minus. Uh, in the home, and we have again is about 67 in all with all these different age groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what would you say your greatest need is for the children at this school? Yes, I think we need to promote like their education first. Mm -hmm. That if the children get educated, then at least we will just brought up the child in a proper way. Yeah. So we would need like fees, we need like uniforms, stationaries, whatever to for the children. Besides any other like food and the running costs of the, the institution, mm -hmm. um, in other projects we are also looking into projects that at least once the child leaves the center at the age of eighteen. We need to train the children into skills, and as a whole, also the institution. I think we need to sustain ourselves, mm -hmm. and also the children have to learn to sustain by themselves. So currently, we are also doing we have some small projects we have started, like the poultry project. We have got the catering project. As we move around, we might see some of the caregivers or the staff doing the catering for some people who need the food for their project. What I mean for the workshop they are doing today. Mm -hmm. We are also having a, an adjusting land about two and a half hectares of land, mm -hmm. where we have said one of the acres we have just developed into a, an irrigation, drip irrigation. And as we move around, we might see that we are also we are applying some vegetables and whatever it is. And we also, we are also looking at the computer room, where we need to have a computer room so that our children, set them young, mm -hmm. to train into computers. And as we move around in the internet, where we can also take some children from the community mm -hmm. to come and use those facilities. Yes. And the, the current day, as we have seen today, we are not even having any electricity because of the load shedding and whatever it is. So we might also need maybe a big generator, which maybe can assist us when there is this problem, or even some um, for the solar panels. Mm -hmm. At least there will be some assistance that way. Mm -hmm. And besides that, as we move around uh, again, we see that the home is going so old that it has got some leaks and whatever mm -hmm. it is. So those are also some other maintenance which yeah. might be needed uh, besides other things also. Uh, you mm -hmm. mentioned that you're educating the children. How much would you say it costs to educate a child in US dollars? How much would it cost? Is it per term or per year? How much would it cost to educate a child? Okay, I'm just looking at maybe the average child, mm -hmm. uh, especially a child with the special school, mm -hmm. where they're paying about $500 per, per term mm -hmm. per child, no. and the other one is about 300 per term. Mm -hmm. So it's over about 1,000 maybe per term per child. Mm -hmm. And then um, times the, the 43 children we might be having mm -hmm. for different uh, grades. Yes. So how much is that? It's a lot. How much is this? It's a lot. Okay. Thank you, Irene. Thank you so much. So you've heard um, what they're doing here at the home and how much it would cost to uh, educate a child. We're currently building a website for the home where you'll be able to keep up to date with what's happening and you'll be able to make online donations as well. The money will be coming straight to the charity and they'll use it for, like they said, for electricity, for maintaining the home, for educating children, for making sure that these children have a chance uh, for uh, developing and having a brighter future. Thank you so much to everybody who donated. May God bless you. May you keep up the good work. Keep on giving because your money is going to a very worthy cause. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.